We're not too worried about being on camera. I'm not worried. We're definitely Forever. not worried about I... being on social media. We know this isn't going anywhere. I met Beckett at Boston University. I was probably like 18 years old, and um, I went to her Bible talk, and um, she studied the Bible with me, and I became a disciple. And for Michelle, uh, she and I met in the downtown region way back when, and um, I, my husband and I first discipled them maybe for two or three months, and then uh, we developed this um, great relationship probably about four or five years afterwards, and we've been knitted since then. That's right. And I'll add that, um, yes, our, another dear friend, da Damien Jean-Baptiste, introduced mm -hmm. us to each other. And Shemitra lived way off campus. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, I was so excited to meet this young woman who had such a powerful love for God and faith and came from a religious background like me and to study out the scriptures that I had just recently learned as a, maybe now I was 19 um, year old, um, but when I was 18. And so um, God has kept us together. She often calls me mom spiritually, but we, I need her as sister. And we've become sisters and best friends over the years since that time. And then um, Michelle and I, my memory is that we were in the, um, Adirondack Club in yeah. on Joy Street or yeah. wherever on on Beacon right. Hill in a meeting and I we were sitting on the floor in a room like this and I looked across and said we need to be friends I sent her a note because we didn't have uh, electronics so I wrote a little note sent it across and um, we met before then but that was the time that I feel I remember connecting right. and just we had so many things in common and over the years many more things where we grew up a half an hour from each other in Ohio and Pennsylvania. We have three older brothers and um, mm -hmm. we, um, we, I just respected and admired her zeal for God mm -hmm. and her love for God and um, con deep convictions in his word and her passion for people. And so um, we have been knitted since. Right, right, and it's so funny. I'm, my memory is a little bit different for each one, but I remember the, sort of like the same thing at like a Bible talk leaders meeting or some leaders meeting. And Beckett had just come from the mission team from Japan. And I thought, oh my gosh, I wanted to move to Boston to be on a mission team mm -hmm. to Africa. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I've got to get this know, to know, get to know this person, her zeal and her amazing convictions and what it took. and. I just have respected and loved you and admired you all the way since. And Shamitra, I just remember you and Van um, discipling my husband and I, Maurice and I, and just um, loving us and having like a healing spirit that whole time. So, um, and then just us being friends somehow. I love that word you use, knit together. So that is so cool. Love it. For me, um, the uh, we have started, uh, I think we've probably been friends, Beck and I have been friends again like for decades mm -hmm. uh, and same with Michelle. Mm -hmm. The thing that for me that makes it unique is that we have this group chat, we call it the mercy seat uh, and because we studied that out in the scriptures but even when I wasn't in the church and this is quite remarkable and I, I think this is really unique about these two women is that they never treated me any differently. It was as I was still in the fold, and um, they treated me as if I would, a friend of mine, I said this before, a friend of mine, when I said I'd lost my faith, she said that I had just misplaced it around the house and that I would find it again. Mm -hmm. And so that's the way I feel about these two, that I had just misplaced it, I would find it again. And so we often have mm -hmm. um, Bible studies on Saturday mornings together, mm -hmm. we pray, uh, something sometimes just spontaneously will be like, oh, have you, I don't understand this scripture, so we'll like, well, let's meet on Saturday mm -hmm. and let's talk through it. Over and Zoom. Over right. Zoom. From New Orleans or Baton Rouge or mm -hmm. Boston or wherever we are in the world. That's right. Correct, yeah. I, I just think that we uh, have this real kinship mm -hmm. and that we're going to help one another get through it. And so it has been through many different seasons in our lives from our marriage, young merits, to having our young children, to when they were teenagers, mm -hmm. talking back, um, to <laughs> now when they are adults <laughs> and trying to get them out of the house. 
So all those things have been reasons why we continue to be friends. Right, uh, right. And then our husbands uh, have known each other. That's right. They also are friends. Uh, Great friends. friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really liked um, Isaiah 61. So first of all, there's a lot of scriptures that describe uh, the three of us. You know, a cord of three strands is not easily broken. Um, a friend loveth at all times. You know, a brother's born for adversity, but a friend loveth at all times. And I think what these two women have meant to me have been my oaks of righteousness. And from Isaiah 61, um, I'm not sure where to start, but I'll start in, in, in uh, Verse two, it says, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, I feel like we've just been great at helping one another proclaim God's favor. Mm -hmm. And then it says, to comfort all who mourn. And that's been, like Shemitra was saying, through all of our stages of life, you know, from single to married, to having um, kids and pregnancy and those kinds of issues, and then um, all of that. So uh, to comfort all who mourn and to provide for those who grieve. You know, we've lost our parents. I've lost my father. Beckett's lost both of her parents. You've lost many people. My brother. And your brother. And um, there's a lot of things that we've done. And it says to bestow on them a crown of beauty. Mm -hmm. And that's what I feel like they've done through the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. through the fruits of the Spirit. They've helped me become, um, you know, beautiful to Christ. And mm -hmm. um, I hope I've done that to them. And yeah. it says instead of ashes, the oil of gladness, instead of mourning, the garment of praise, instead of spirit of despair, they will be called oaks of righteousness, planting, a planting of the Lord for the display of all his splendor. And I feel like our friendship has been that for each other. Mm -hmm. And even for others, we all have many, 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 many sisters who are our friends and brothers and things like that. But I felt like those early morning, Saturday mornings, we've been doing that at least 10, 14 years mm -hmm. maybe, mm -hmm. meeting together, working through the scriptures, talking about that. So mm -hmm. I, I really, think about that for us. And I, um, it, yeah, I think, um, and just to say about unique, because we're all unique, so we all right. have a unique relationship with each other, the way mm -hmm. God brings us together and makes us, I always think of Ephesians 4 and how God makes us so, um, uh, so important to one another because every one of us has something to give and to get but I think in and so every relationship is unique that we have but um, I do appreciate the things that that they shared and the way that we've supported each other I think of Ecclesiastes um, 4 and 9 two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor if either of them falls down one can help the other up but pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up and um, you know, the one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. And I think from um, the beginning, we um, sought to have deep convictions in God's word in Absolutely. our relationship and yep. with God. And when I mm -hmm. think of friendship, um, I didn't have great friendships growing up. I was more of a tomboy, so I got along with the boys right. and more than the girls. <laughs> Me and, too. Um, <laughs> I didn't trust people, um, so when I first started studying the Bible with this church, I didn't trust anyone, and uh, so friendship was a challenging thing for me, and when I saw women's friendships, I was intimidated by them, and I just think the Holy Spirit is so gracious, God is so gracious to put us together with people and to bring those friends to us and build those friendships, and that's what how he's done with us. and. Um, I think that um, the support is like we've always said, I, I always say thanks for being in the trenches with me. Mm -hmm. Our goal is to be on the front of the, of the battle, to be in the battle, to stay in the battle, to be in the front of the battle, and to be like Naomi, to make it to the end, faithful yes, right. to God. And that we go up and down and our journeys go around and through the valleys and right. the dark valleys of the shadow of death and up over the hills and um, but I'm just so thankful for how these women have pointed me to God and to the mercy seat mm -hmm. to learn more about grace mm -hmm. to grow in our faith um, Michelle's always been um, the visionary like she just that like you like what can you say after that like she just visions so big she sees God so big mm -hmm. and she rejoices in God and has such a grateful gratitude that that helps Shemitra and I get out of our 
-hmm. serious, negative, mm -hmm. critical mindsets and to, to hold on and to, to grow our faith um, and to, to grow our, our joy and, our, um, and hold on to those scriptures um, that speak the truth about God that sometimes Satan can really turn us from. And, um, and then I think um, you mentioned healer for mm -hmm. um, Shemitra and Shemitra really um, has been one that has been a healer for me right. and kept me out of very, very dark places and brought me through. God has used her to hold on to me through those darkest times and um, to, uh, to be there together. We struggle together. We have similarities of, of character, similar, similarities of challenges through the decades of being mm -hmm. feminine and physically, emotionally, hormonally, spiritually, every mentally, all the challenges that we go through, I think just being there to, um, to walk with each other and know that at, at a moment's notice, um, they would be there for us, so for, we would be there for each other. But, so. That's beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. I know, that's so awesome. <laughs> um, I had just a couple really quick scriptures. Um, it's the Proverbs 17, 17, but, mm -hmm. and the New Living Translation is that a friend is always loyal mm -hmm. and a brother is born to help in time of need. Uh, for Michelle, um, there was a time when I was really low, um, spiritually, um, in many different ways, and uh, she came uh, to my house, and uh, I was embarrassed about certain things, and this woman had absolutely no ju judgment, and the joy in which she helped me was, I left and said, I will never leave her. Mm -hmm because uh, I feel like she's just an incredible friend. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. For Beckett, who to me is like a spiritual powerhouse, mm -hmm. um, and I think, you know, being um, in the BU ministry, um, one of the things that we were taught is just that we would become all things to all men. Mm -hmm. And Miss Beckett has friendships <laughs> internationally, bicoastal. Okay. I, I don't know how many languages she speaks, but she can understand so many. If you need to go to Belfast, she will find a friend for you there. If you need to go to Korea, I'm sure she has somebody she knows there. And to me, it's just her faith working out. You, I just look at her and I'm absolutely in awe of how you embody that scripture that Scott Lynn Green gave to us and that implanted that in us. That when I look at you, I think I want to be like Beckett. That's right. Always. That's right. Right. So okay. true. So true. Thank you. You answer pretty much every question. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's how we are. Right, right, right. We be talking. Sorry to talk. Oh. Oh, I love you guys so uh, much. Thank you. Yeah, this was be, awesome. Mm -hmm. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and fun. Can we add in there fun? Fun. Oh, my goodness. That's so much fun. <laughs>